So it's July 3rd, and uh, yeah, I'm here in Oric. I end up staying another night. Yesterday, as I was leaving town, I stopped at where Philip works at to say goodbye, and he's like, it's 5.30 at night. Are you sure you want to be walking at this time? Why not just stay another night? And, well, you know, I don't know when I'm going to pass this way again, so I said, oh, screw it. I'll stay another night. Plus, uh, I've got myself fully charged up. I've gotten enough rest, and I'm having a coffee right now, and then I'm going to make my way on. I hope to hit Klamath tomorrow, and then I'll probably catch the bus up to Eureka. I need to get an SD card, and uh, I need to cover some miles. I know that a buddy of mine is going to be hitting Coos Bay on July 11th to walk with me. And as it is, he's probably going to have to bus down to where I am at to continue on, because I don't think, I know I won't make it that far. So, yeah, I'm trying to get to a point where he can bust down to meet up with me uh, as I've taken, I've taken longer than what I, what I wanted, but I'm always where I'm supposed to be. So I really can't complain. Um, the adventure is in control, not me. And that's the way I live this life. And it's, it's been magical all along the way. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to drink my coffee, go on out there, drink a coffee, um, get myself good and medicated, and then make my way on.
So this is where I slept at last night. I'm in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Made it to this trail. I didn't make it as far as I wanted to, but... There's my stuff sitting out. But I found me another tree to sleep inside of, basically. This is pretty freaking cool. And this is my view. So, it's July 4th, it's about 6 o'clock, and, uh, yeah, I gotta get up and get going. People are gonna start coming in here pretty early, I think. Um, I'm not sure, I mean, I know fireworks will be tonight, more than likely, so people might be sleeping in, but it's a freaking holiday. So, people get up and just start their day early and hit the parks and everything else, so I need to get going. And as always, leave no trace. So right here, we have salmon berries. And these are thimble berries. They're just about ripe. They're really good. They don't sell them in the stores because they don't hold up so well after you pick them. Ah, here's a ripe one. Here's another ripe one. Yeah, these are so freaking good. They're so sweet. Mm-hmm. Damn. And they even got a couple blackberries. This one. Ah, oh, no, that one ain't done either. There's that one. Well, I got one blackberry, little one. <laughs>
Yeah, when you see a, um, a sink and you don't see a sign saying the water's not potable. So I drank half of the water that was in here and then uh, I went and filled up the rest of the bottle with fucking shitty unpotable water. Water became all fucking cloudy and then I had to dump it out. So now I got about a, I got 16 ounces to last me until tomorrow. <sighs> It'd be nice if these fucking parks would put up a goddamn sign and say, hey, not drinkable fucking water here. Up underneath that bridge, behind that bridge is where I'm going to be. It's back up in there. my fire well got the fire ring dismantled working on getting packed up this is my amazing view this morning. I love this spot. Yeah, I love this spot. It's one of us. It's just a great safe spot that I can actually have a fire at. And the view is freaking amazing. Yeah. All right. I need to uh, finish getting packed up. I'm going to head up to the road and catch a bus. I'm going to head to uh, Crescent City. I have to get a couple SD cards. I am almost completely out of storage on my, on my, um, on my other SD cards and on my phone. So... Yeah, if I want to keep filming, I have to I have to jump the bus and go get there. Well, and it kind of works out because like I'm running a little bit behind schedule, but um, according to my schedule, to be able to walk it all completely, yeah, I ran behind. But according to the adventure, I'm right on time. Um, I mean, I'm, I've gotten here to this great spot. I want to get here, and now I'm running out of phone space. So, um, yeah, perfect that I can actually go catch the bus right up above and get to the next city. Um, and then I will, not sure, it all depends on the time and timing and everything else. I'll either end up crashing in Crescent City tonight, um, backtrack to a good spot on a beach, or, or I'm going to catch the bus to Smith River and walk it up to Pelican State Beach. And just go find a, a spot to sleep there. That is uh, just this side of the border. Um, tomorrow I could be walking into Oregon. So that's the plan. All right. Time for me to uh, get packed up. I'm going to smoke up and then head on up. So yesterday I went to Klamath, got to Klamath. I looked up online about when the buses were running because I knew I was going to need a ride. Went, uh, found that a bus was going to come to Wilson Creek. I'm like, yes, I can make it there tonight and camp there. And so I did that last night. 
along the way I ran out of water got down just a little tiny bit but I'm like that's okay there's a park right there I stopped at the park went into the bathroom the water is not drinkable it's all cloudy and shit so I'm now out of water but that's okay the bus is coming I get up to where the bus is gonna be and a half hour later I watch the bus right by I did everything short of throwing a rock at the damn windshield so now I'm like freaking out I'm like out of water and all of a sudden somebody comes riding by in a vehicle and goes hey Seth and I'm like well I don't know who the hell that is but they recognize me they're gonna be my angel turns out it's freaking James Part of the family, holy shit. This is fucking awesome. So I'm like completely out of water. I, I Well, I got a little bit that I scored off of some people just at the little last little rest stop or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about out of uh, memory. So I was trying to get to Crescent City to get SD cards and then make my way out. So is there any way you can run me up to Crescent City? How far is that? Just, uh, it's, uh, 12 miles. Yeah, that's it. We just went through there. Yeah. I'm going to give these guys a hug and make, get in there and make my way on. This is so fucking cool, man. This is so awesome. There's angels everywhere. Keep watching. Keep following. I will keep showing you the magic that happens out here. So, wasn't planning on just hanging out at a beach all day long. Hell, I thought I was planning to catch the bus to Crescent City. I was planning I was going to go to Walmart, get what I needed, catch another bus to Smith River so that way I wouldn't have to walk for 20 miles through nothing, and then walk from Smith River to the beach I was going to camp on, which is Pelican State Beach. Um, yeah. Then the bus didn't show, the bus showed and passed me while I'm out of water. Shit. And uh, even before I can fully complain on Facebook, all of a sudden I hear a voice, Hey Seth, we're coming to get you! And yeah, it turns out it's uh, James. And it's because of the damn umbrella looking like a rifle. And his daughter noticing a man walking down the road. Is that a rifle he's carrying? He's like, wait a second, that's my buddy Seth. So, because uh, he remembers all the stories from earlier on this walk. Um, yeah, it's freaking awesome. Freaking hilarious. So, anyways, uh, they brought me into Crescent City. Uh, took me off for breakfast. And then uh, took me to Walmart. Um, and then they invited me to come hang with them for the day out here at the beach. And I'm like, well, hell, why not? And here, let me flip this around. And somewhere over there is where I would have camped at tonight. But they've invited me to come back to their place. Uh, they're vacationing in Brookings, uh, just on the other side of the border. So I'm like, all right, fine. I guess I get a ride over the border. Um, I'm just going with the flow on the adventure. Apparently that's where I need to be to be able to meet up with my buddy Ross in time. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go there. Uh, tomorrow I'll be able to run around and get some supplies and then if I want to I can go trek on or I've been offered to stay um, another night there as well. I've been offered to stay two nights if I want. Um, so I'm just going to play it by ear and see what feels right with the adventure and go from there. Because um, the adventure rules. That's where all the magic happens. Alright, time for me to get back to uh, hanging out with them. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's so freaking cool. Alright, magic every day guys. Keep watching, I'll keep showing it to you. Yeah, you did pretty damn good, I gotta say. Girl Scouts, man. Girl Scouts, right on. I'm not gonna worry about it. I thought that was a lot. I used to be a Girl Scout trooper. <laughs> Wow, this place is beautiful. 
wait until I show you in the morning. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to describe it. All I can say is, wow. Yeah, and to think, if I would have stuck to my guns of my plans of walking every single mile, um, I wouldn't have ended up here. And I needed the ride this morning. I desperately needed the ride. It is so freaking cool that it, the universe played it all out so they would be driving by as James's daughter noticed the man walking down the highway with the gun. He's like, wait a second, that's my friend Seth. And she's like, um, you're gonna, we're going back to pick up the guy with the gun? What? And so then he explained to her that it was an umbrella and that he knew. That's so freaking cool. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's been an awesome night here. I'm going to stay another night. Um, yeah. And as I said, let me show you this backyard. It is freaking awesome. There's the pond. And it travels through here underneath this bridge. All the way over here to another little area. And it actually... goes down over into here as well. Got a mermaid. Awesome bench. And I got to find out what kind of tree this is, or actually it's not a tree, it's a bush. Bird feeder. And I'm not sure what that is, but like a hot tub could go here, grill. And then there's actually a creek right down here. And I'm told that there's a rare kind of salamander. And I think I was also told a rare kind of frog that live here. Um, and down by the creek. Yeah, uh, pretty freaking cool. And this house is actually up for sale. Um, yeah, um, I feel pretty damn freaking blessed to uh, to be able to spend a night or two here. Um, this wasn't part of my plan. Last night I was hoping to be camping on Pelican State Beach, which is actually just a few miles from here. But um, yeah, and I thought I was going to be walking like tons of highway and like just trying to get things done. Actually. With the bus missing me yesterday, I thought for sure that I was going to be camping on Crescent City Beach last night and then Pelican State Beach tonight, which is actually just a few miles south from here. So I'm pretty much on schedule, even with taking another day off to mess with videos and hang with James and the Lisa and the kids. Yeah, um, yeah, this is pretty freaking cool. And we're heading back to Humboldt. Uh, James hasn't been there in like, a, like since he was a kid or something. He hasn't been there for many, many years. So we're going to go head back to Humble and yeah, this is going to be a pretty cool day. All right. I need to get inside and, uh, get myself all ready and we're going to head on out. So I'm here in Crescent City. I just had breakfast at the chart room with James and Lisa and the kids and looking right out here got the sea lions this is so freaking cool Thank you.
Close, huh? Yeah. Hi guys. So here we are. I am back in Humboldt, um, right here at the Redwood Forest, and uh, brought James. James and Lisa went and they found me walking on the highway and snagged me up. I've been hanging with them for the last two days, and I wanted to show him. One of the most amazing, my favorite spots to smoke at and uh, blaze up with him. This is freaking so cool. <coughs> and as always, guys, it's your hit. Come get this. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Find me. Follow me. Be like James. Come on out. Pick me up and we'll go smoke. And I will take you to some of the most amazing places that I know all along the way to smoke at. Like this, like this amazing, this amazing, amazing tree. I freaking love camping in this thing. Here. And smoking in it. Uh, it's like Mother Nature just wrapping her arms around me. <coughs> Alright guys. Come get this. Alright. Much love, much peace, you all. Hey guys, so find me, follow me, see where I am. Come hang out with me in amazing spots like this. And we'll smoke up, we'll hang out, we'll share a few stories. Alright, I'm uh, back to hanging out with these guys. I'm going to show them a little bit more of the amazing places that I know at around here. And then uh, I think tomorrow I'll be making my way on. Um, Alright, much love, much peace you all. <laughs>